Hello, this is a specimen of a thyroid gland and we are looking at the cut surface. The anatomy is slightly distorted, uh, but we can see that this is the brown color of the thyroid parenchyma and that there are two irregular masses here. These are pale and tan in color and they are clearly not encapsulated. In some areas, they are fairly well demarcated from the thyroid parenchyma, but in other areas, the distinction is not as sharp. In addition, we also see some masses here and here. It is difficult to say for sure whether these are actually part of the thyroid parenchyma or whether, for example, they are lymph nodes. But what is clear is that they are also involved by the same neoplastic process that we see in the thyroid gland. So here is an example of a tumour in the thyroid gland that is multifocal or in which we see multiple nodules or more than one nodule. And whenever we see a multifocal tumour mass in the thyroid gland, there will be several differential diagnoses. We have to consider papillary thyroid carcinoma, which is the commonest primary thyroid malignancy and not infrequently occurs as multiple tumour nodules. These can be in one lobe or they can be in both the thyroid lobes. Another important differential is medullary thyroid carcinoma, which this is an example of. And in the context of familial medullary thyroid carcinoma or medullary carcinoma with underlying MEN syndrome, this could also present as multiple tumor nodules. The third differential diagnosis is metastatic carcinoma going to the thyroid gland. This is relatively uncommon, however, it can occur. Both papillary thyroid carcinoma and medullary thyroid carcinoma can metastasize to the lymph nodes, and medullary carcinoma can also metastasize to distant sites through the bloodstream. So it is not really possible to tell them apart looking at the gross appearance, however, on microscopy, they look very distinct. Therefore, to summarize, this is a multifocal tumor in the thyroid gland, and the main two differential diagnoses include papillary thyroid carcinoma and familial medullary thyroid carcinoma or medullary carcinoma in the context of men.